I feel the earth move under my feet. I feel the sky tumbling down. I feel my heart start to tremble whenever you're around. Ooh, Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Hacienda Rivet here. Glad to see you again. It's been a while. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. Change of pace. What we're going to do is we're going to do a taste test, a taste comparison. Um, I've been craving hot links for a while now. And uh, I decided, you know, I've eaten both of these kind individually. But I wanted to do a side-by-side -side taste test. On this side here, we got Earl Campbell's Red Hot Links. And on this side, we got Dickie's Hot Links since 1941. They're both good. I like them both. But I wanted to see what they, how they compared side by side. Now, we all know Earl Campbell. Uh, he played for the Dallas Cowboys. Now, he could play good football. Can he make good Red Hot Links? Well, let's see. We're going to compare them. Uh, his are made out of chicken, pork, and beef. Okay. Uh, they're all... Uh, heat and eat. They're both fully cooked. Now, um, the ingredients for Earl Campbell's are mechanically separated chicken. Meat ingredients are pork and beef. Water, corn syrup, salt. Contains 2% or less of isolated oat product. Flavorings, modified food starch, dextrose, sodium phosphate, so sodium erythorbate, sodium nitrite, carmine, annatto, and red number 40. Okay, sounds like a mouthful, but typical stuff for a hot dog. All right, and um, one more thing. Earl Campbell's is out of an outfit in uh, Wilder, Texas. Highway 90, West Wilder, Texas. All right, now Dickies. Um, you can go to Dickies and see it on, uh, on the Internet. In 1941, the Dickie family started a barbecue joint, and the rest is history. Okay, these are Dickie's Barbecue Pit Hot Links. These are made with pork and beef. Uh, there's no chicken in these, okay? Uh, the ingredient list for these are pork, beef, water, spices, salt, non-fat dry milk, milk protein concentrate, celery powder, brown sugar, sugar, granulated garlic, paprika, natural smoke flavoring. All right, a lot less ingredients in Dickie's. And they're out of an outfit from uh, Yoakum, Texas, the Eddie Packing Company. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and fire up the uh, charcoal grill. And we're going to grill them both. And then we're going to come back in and uh, we'll see what they taste like. So stick with me and let's give them a taste. All right, and here we have a nice platter of uh, hot, hot links. Um, yeah, delicious, smelling good. So uh, let's go ahead and do the taste test. We're going to start out with Earl Campbell's. Okay, texture. Just like a regular hot dog. No snap, no real casing to it. Um, very pretty color. Red all the way through. Okay, let's take a bite. Mmm. Oh my God. Very mild. Got a little bit, little bit of zing. Yeah, it's coming through. Peppery. Woo! Peppery taste. Definitely some hot paprika in there. Man, that is one great hot link. Okay, very smooth. Got the consistency of just a smooth American hot dog. Now we'll try the Dickies. Oh, that's got some casing to it. You can see it tearing here. That's got some snap when you bite into it now. You see that? The texture, meaty, uh, looks like there's clear pieces of meat in there. Very much like maybe a Hebrew national hot dog. Let's try it. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Clearly muscle meat in there. A lot of black pepper. A lot spicier than Earl Campbell's. But still good. Same, same spice. Hot paprika. Mmm. And the, the casing is chewy. Those of you who don't like to chew on a, on a true casing aren't going to like the Dickies, but I do. I like it. Wow. Um, Dickies is beautiful. Great. Very meaty. Um, definitely beefy. Yeah, that's how I describe the Dickies. Beefy. And a much more pronounced heat than the Earl Campbell. Earl Campbell, I think, is toned down by the chicken that's in it. Both of them get an A in my book. They're both delicious. 
but if I'd have to pick one over the other, and this is purely subjective, I would pick Dickies right here simply because it's got that snappy casing, chewy, and um, it's got that um, beefiness to it by not having chicken as Earl Campbell's do. So, beautiful stuff, people. Now, let me show you how I prep them normally. First, we nestle the hot link in a ballpark bun. Then we put a little bit of sauerkraut on top. And then we garnish with some uh, horseradish brown mustard. Delicious. Earl Campbell's on the left. Dickie's on the right. Thanks for watching, people. Really appreciate you. Take care. Bye-bye.